this evening, I'd like to call uh, Vice Chair uh, Debbie Shedden to the front to recognize our student board members. And I know we did uh, uh, introduce, uh, introduce them, uh, but they weren't all able to attend last time. So I'll turn it over to Ms. Shedden. Good evening. Well, this is always a great time of year because we're welcome. We're starting a new school year and we are welcoming three new student board representatives to our board. Uh, for the year, and these student board representatives uh, will be giving us their viewpoints. Uh, they'll be expressing concerns about uh, things that are going on in their school, and in uh, a few words that they're going to bring in, be bringing their school to us so that we can get a good viewpoint. Uh, our student board representatives, uh, they serve as advisory, non-voting representatives, and uh, there are certain qualifications that each one of these young ladies met, and they're very impressive, and I would like to just mention them quickly. A score of 19 or better on the ACT, a 3.0 GPA, no discipline referral, <coughs> in good standing of attendance, meaning they've missed five days or less per school year, a petition signed by 15 fellow students completed and returned for consideration. A member of their rising senior class. Three faculty recommendations and one student is represented there from each of our local high schools, Cherokee, Volunteer, and Clinch. Uh, with that being said, I will first tell you a little bit about our representative from Clinch if I have my paperwork. Uh, we, we recognized uh, Addison Wright last month at Volunteer, and uh, the other two ladies were not able to be with us, so uh, we're going to recognize them tonight. From Clinch, we have Carly Lawson. Uh, she, in her bio, she said, I'm fun and fun-loving, family-oriented, and all-around bubbly person. I aspire to be the best person I can, not only for myself, but also for my friends, my family, and the people around me. I am currently in the National Honor Society and love every moment. After high school, my dream is to own my own salon. I am looking to attend TCAT for cosmetology after graduation. So let's all give a welcome to Carly. Cherokee High School, we have Caitlin Cook. Uh, Caitlin is uh, an 11th grade honor student at Cherokee High School. Of course, this was written last year. Uh, this has been her first year at Cherokee High School where she's been very active in choir, theater, and culinary. Nominated by her peers to represent Cherokee at monthly board meetings is a big accomplishment for a transfer student. Uh, I believe Caitlin will accomplish her goals in life and she's very happy that she's achieved. And for this portion of what she wrote, I'm going to let her come up and read it to you because she wrote this as an autobiography and I think it should be read by her. So I was told to write this last year because I was super excited to be here for the board. Um, but I'll just go ahead and start for you guys. So there was a point in time where I kept my ambition to myself without realizing the importance of working towards my passions. I was born and raised in an environment with no opportunity, Lake County, California, and my education advancements and connections were all limited. I wanted change and escapism was the only thing on my mind. So, About a year ago, I made what I considered to be one of the hardest decisions. I moved across the country in hopes for a more suitable life, and I can safely say that I've read nothing. Having this opportunity to be the student representative means a great deal to me. I am hardworking, considerate, inviting and polite, and will do whatever it takes to make my peers proud. Yeah. Welcome to all three of you, and perhaps next month at the board meeting, we can have a just a very brief report on what's going on at each one of your schools. Thank you. Thank you. 